have relationships with women and sex with men. And I got news for you. That means you're watching Death Curse. Hey, oh. <laughs> Say a bunch of cool shit. <laughs> What is up, dudes? I gotta get the uh, the painting in a minute here, and I'm gonna play a quick game of uh, Will This Get Struck to find out if these guys are still signed to Victory Records or not. So I'm gonna play this Meridian track that I've been bumping. I was re listened to this entire fucking album today. Awesome uh, local band from Poughkeepsie, New York that uh, we played with a couple of times way back in the day. And then they got signed and released this one album and disappeared. Uh, I think they had like another album, but it was the EP before this, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I'm going to play this track really quick. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because it's probably really loud. And uh, I'm going to go grab the painting because it's a big motherfucker and my cats love to fuck with everything. So uh, you can't see right now. I guess I can share my desk shot here. Uh, office is super crowded right now. Uh, you're only gonna see about half of the painting at a time because that's about what my camera can fit in it right now. Um, until everything is like done with the construction, um, which is gonna be a few weeks because I'm doing it myself at the very least. Uh, but I gotta go grab the painting out of my basement really quick. Uh, get it all set up here on the table and then I gotta mix up some uh some modeling paste and paint so I can start adding some weird uh texture to this 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 bad boy because it got away from me a little bit last night. Might have been a little too drunk, but uh play some music and I will be right back. See if this gets copyright struck. I guess I should clear this stuff over here at least. Make sure I don't hit the camera. This big fucker. See if this gets kicked or not. I'm already back. I thought that was going to take way longer. Uh, are we still live? Or did it immediately get struck? Let's see. Oh. Hang on. All right, very cool. I just wanted to see if that was going to get me struck or not, because they're like a pretty old band at this point. Um, I might have to see if I can adjust this just a little bit. I literally have the arm like as extended as far as it can go. I'm just going to see my packed office if I move it more. Try and get as much of it in the frame as possible. You can see more shit in my office. Look at my groin. There you go. That's probably the best we're going to get it. Yeah, this part right here really got away from me the other night. So I had to like 
fix this up. Start adding texture to it. And I gotta go back in with darker colors and cut a bunch of this bullshit out. But I've just committed to doing it all drunk. Um, I think I grabbed two different modeling pace. Just raided Beth's setup. What's mine is hers. What is up? Uh, I don't know if I should grab a spoon or something. I'm trying to think. Oh, I got these tongue depressors. You can see where that thing fucking still caught the bar, so I'm definitely going to have to clean that up. Putting too much pressure on it. That's why we're doing this. What did I say? Tongue depressors. Losing my fucking mind. Get this biatch in here. Might add some water to this, honestly. We will see. Get a ton of this shit in here. This is extra heavy and then I have a regular. Do I mix them both? Does that even matter? Do I do one and then the other? We got a flexible one too. What is up guys? I'm just getting getting some modeling paste set up here. Looks like fucking... You know, I got a little bit of a cold too, which fucking sucks for streaming. But we'll have to deal with it. What was I going to say? It's like a... Jesus Christ, I can't think. Spackle. God damn. It's, like, it's kind of like a smooth, smooth spackle. I'm going to have to like blow my nose or something. That's fucking horrible. I'm sorry, guys. This guy. Yellow okra. To get close to a gross brown again. I'm gonna have to creep up on this. Creep crate? God damn it! Did not have a runny nose five minutes ago. It's the cocaine I did right before the show. Red to this. No, you know what? We got. I just go snort some flour. Uh, here we go. Think about adding some bead texture or something. Do I do red oxide? Go a little bit of this first. Drunk Bob Ross. There we go. God damn it. I don't have a palette knife either, so I'm literally using a plastic spackle trowel. I guess I can use these tongue depressors too. But that's definitely better. A weird beige. Oh, you know what I can do? I can turn this other fucking light on behind us. that will help a little bit, I guess. Get this as mixed up as possible so it's not all streaky. I'm sure there's still yeah, there's still a bunch at the bottom. 
takes a bit, and I haven't done this in a really fucking long time. But the mood struck me. This weird, weird ass movie that I absolutely loved. Alright, what I should do, pull that picture of the mask back up really quick. More and more underpainting. Big build up here. Do not get caught on that. Separated fat lip over here. I'll just scratch those out in a second. Show me how strong you are. Get off of my hand.
to harden this and then repaint it. The top is smooth up there for the most part, but there is a forehead crease. And it'll throw off the color balance and everything for now, but adding some extra texture in here. Get back to here, where it's also pretty scratchy and a bit more bulbous get some definition to the lips now I need to figure out a way to do teeth in a better way too I might have just got some modeling paste in my hair but well, fuck it I'm going to just hang this up in town somewhere when I'm done with it. Just not fucking say anything. Jeez, monster. Alright. That has like a... There's like a crater in here. That I'm going to have to black out after. But we'll... Get some modeling paste around it. Sort of sculpt it. Looks like a weird vagina. Got a weird little lip divot now. So we got a decent amount of putty. I think that's I think I like nailed it actually on the mix. Oh tools getting in the way. Fucking painting is gonna weigh so much when it's done. So that's more shape to this. This thing's gonna look fucking disgusting. I gotta figure out the best way to light it too. Like where the light hits and looks the coolest. Maybe add some more depth to it before I start finishing out the colors. So I think this is actually going to be the dark. Dark side would probably be over here.
even know if you guys can see what I'm doing up on the eye. I'm sorry. Now the hard part, being a fat guy and having to reach over this whole thing. really read like I want it to but I like it and that is all that matters okay I'll slide this down a little bit Kayla and Beth call me a serial killer all the time because I paint shit like this. So I don't know if that's a good thing. But, uh... I don't know. I like it. <laughs> What up, Dale? What up, Jason? What up, DJ? So we got the modeling paste down now. It's not going to look like much until tomorrow once it's like cured and everything, but I'm doing the uh, Skarsgård mask from Brandon Cronenberg's Infinity Pool that just came out. Really dug the movie. Had a giant canvas, wanted to fuck around with. So we're working through it. I think this is, it's either four foot by three foot or four foot by five foot. I don't remember. I have to measure the short side and I'll know, but it's at least four foot by something. Uh, it's pretty big. I still got some modeling paste here, so I'm going to just lay it all down, not let it go to waste. But what I am going to do, tongue depressor's going. Sorry, I wasn't trying to ignore you guys. It's just I got zoned in and I got to check the chat over on my computer behind me. Uh, bit of a learning curve. That's why I'm going to be setting up the paint stuff 
eventually out in my garage. We're also kind of potentially shooting a movie about an artist. And we're most likely going to build one of the sets in my garage anyways. So it kind of saves us some time in the long run. Let's fill out some of these edges. Gives a shit. Clean up my drawing table later, boys. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, hope you're all well. If you haven't seen already, uh, I did a little stream earlier tonight when I was a little bit less drunk. And I uh, busted open the variants that finally got here today. We weren't even sure if they were going to show up safe when they disappeared on Thursday. But they're here. They look fucking awesome. I kind of packed them away safely for now. Because I knew I was going to be doing this tonight. Um, but they look fucking cool. And in the morning, I start packing up orders and shipping more out. DJ, if you're still in here, I haven't forgot about you. You're part of the reships. You're getting a new book. And uh, I think I should have enough of the the ones Jeff signed to send you one that's signed by Jeff as well for the, the fuck up with the dinged corner. So we'll get that in order finally. But I figured uh, a dinged corner wasn't going to ruin the reading experience for now. If you're mad about the weight, hit me up. We will we will figure it out. Uh, but I've not forgotten about you if you are here. Glad people think this thing is creepy, though. That's a good start. Really like that like Jackson Pollocky pole line there. Of course, it's really hard to get without just scratching into it. So I was thinking originally with this though was once I got the painting to where I liked it and everything in the end, all the underpainting, all of the the red paint that's on the mask, which I think I might just do with like hand prints or something. Be a real artsy wiener with it, but uh. I'll just kind of stamp it on. Oh, that's a nice little. Cool. Just trying to like fatten up the eyelids a bit. Uh, I don't even remember what I was saying now. That's. That's how the drinks are flowing tonight, boys. Sorry about that. It was important. Maybe it'll come back to me. <laughs> Jesus. More on the nose. It's almost gone. I don't want to just use it just for the sake of using it. I don't want to waste everything that I had. But one more texture to this side of the head here. Have any of you guys seen the movie yet? Uh, almost done beating Elden Ring too. Kick ass, man. I still, that was the one, I, I don't know if you were in there for that stream, but I was like, I have to literally not fucking buy that game. And, like, I would not be getting anything done if I had bought that fucking game. Like, I'd be, I'd be 16 years old again. Just f fucking ruining all responsibilities. Uh, but we're getting caught on, caught up on stuff now, so I might be able to grab it. Ooh. It's like, I got, like, Xbox Game Pass and shit. I was just talking about canceling that the other day because I, I don't even play games. The Jizz Monster. 
dude, this movie was, I don't know if I, th- that's why I'm probably a sociopath is, uh, people, like all the reviews are saying this movie is really extreme and I was fucking like laughing throughout it. Mike went with me and both of us were laughing pretty hard through a lot of it. Pack some more little weird peaks in here. But not make them, yeah, like that. Not make them completely connect with the other ones. I like facial trauma, if you couldn't tell by my books. <laughs> I've had a lot of it myself, so it's uh, relatable to me, I guess. Can't kill Cade. Face trauma. Whole face gone. Void Walker, shot in the face. Whole inciting incident. I'm pretty predictable, I guess. Man, I'm so fucking hyped for you guys to get kid issue four, though. That shit is bonkers. <coughs> Excuse me, fuck. My bad, coughing in your ears like that, guys. Oh my god, I don't even know what that was. The demons took me. There we go. Kind of like those weird just voids in the nose, like. Pull it that way. Yeah, that's good. Don't do too much to it. That is a wrap. Uh, I don't know. If my headphones reach that far, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Yeah. Fuck fine art. Fine art can suck my dick. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh Hell yeah, those variants were cool. Thank you. Thank you, Jason. I think that is officially a wrap on that. Uh, What was that? Half hour? Not even? Just barely a half hour with all my bullshitting, too? Damn. I thought that would take way longer. Uh, But I'm actually really, really happy with this. It's kind of already drying on my hands, too. Just flake that shit onto here. More texture. If it doesn't fall off, it's part of it now. It all gets used. Every part of the buffalo. Every little shaving. There's probably beard hairs and shit in here. When I'm dead and gone, all you'll have left is the smell of weed, nicotine, and whiskey. But goddamn, you'll remember me. <clears throat> All right, cool, not bad. I will. Uh, I'll hold the camera up in a second here and show you guys the whole thing from my view. Because it kind of looks like a bunch of bullshit from uh, the angle the camera's at. So might be a little disorienting for a second here, but. There he is. Got salacious crumb over there. I don't know if you saw it. Job of the Hutt's rat. I got this shitty fucking Chinese webcam that's getting replaced finally. So we're making do right now. But yeah, that's that's it for now. Chill for a little bit. Rub ashes into it, whatever we gotta do. How's everybody doing? So we still got some people in chat hanging out. I'm just pulling off paint paint from my hands and dropping it onto this fucking thing. This be the crustiest, grossest motherfucker when it's all done. It's cool though, because once this dries, I mixed a little bit of paint in it, so it's gonna be obviously like beige, like it looks, if you aren't familiar with it already. Um 
it'll dry, but it'll dry all 3D like that, and that texture and raised edges like a uh, like oil paint would. Um, and then I can paint onto that and add even more disorientation and texture. And in here, if you're familiar with the mask, it's kind of got almost like uh, like pig nostrils. That's why I scraped that part out there. And uh, I'll probably just go in with my fingers and black and fill that in. Uh, I might even add another layer of modeling paste at some point, but it's getting closer to how I like it. Most of the like weird little patches of black in here are gonna disappear and stuff. Um, I want basically just like oh, get it on my shirt. Uh, like the mouth and the eyes to be the things that are like mostly all black, which is why I said I'll go back in and probably clean those up with a Posca marker or something. Um, but yeah, this will all dry 3D and weird, and I can go in and add more color into it and shading into the the actual textures. And then in these valleys, I can go back in with black now and black that all in, so it'll add more dimension. It'll be all gross. I could technically at this point just basically restart and sort of prime the whole face, the darkest tone, and then just uh, dry brush over it to pick up, dry brush with a lighter color over it to pick up all the raised edges. That would sort of give the same effect, but it wouldn't be as uh, controlled. Have you watched HBO's Last of Us? Everyone says it's great, but I was really bored. Uh, even the later seasons of Walking Dead were more gritty. Um, it's definitely slower than I was expecting so far, but the the writing's phenomenal. Like the what was it the third episode this week? I'm sure a lot of people are probably real butt hurt because it was like a gay romance story, but uh, it's a a fairly universal like relatable story, and it was like extremely well written and fucking gut wrenching. Uh, again, not what I'm expecting out of a, uh, Last of Us show, though, and that's what I told my girlfriend. I was like, it almost did a disservice to how good the, like, the little love story they wrote for it. Like, that could have just been its own, like, indie short film or something with the same cast that had nothing to do with Last of Us. But, uh, they're, they're trying to do their thing. Uh, the writing's really good, it's just every time I expect it to go a bit harder than it is going, and, uh... That's just like a, a personal preference for me, but yeah, people are fucking loving it. Uh, I know my girlfriend who knows nothing about the uh, the games. I almost said the comics. The games is enjoying it. Uh, she's kind of like my normie gauge for everything. I somehow landed a, a normal human being. Yeah, I twisted one up, so we'll, we'll smoke a little. We'll hang out here. Because who knows, this could dry pretty fast, I don't know. And I'm not going anywhere. I've been drinking all night. I just, uh, can't really stand this bad boy up. It's probably going to go into one of the guest rooms to cure for the night, away from the cats. Uh. How's everybody been? Hope you're all having a good Monday night. We're going to be doing a lot more of this. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with this painting when it's all done. Beth was asking me if I was going to sell it, and I don't even know how the fuck I would sell it. Other than, like, in person to someone, because shipping this would be a motherfucker. That's what I should go do with. I should grab like the toothbrush or something with the last of that putty and add some texture to those teeth. Yeah, exactly. Head cr like it. That's why I keep saying like it keeps feeling like it's ramping up to that. Even like tonight, without spoiling anything, like you finally get to see like some human combat. And even that feels like weirdly withdrawn, which is kind of just like a directorial choice to make things like kind of like removed and detached. It almost feels a little like voyeuristic, and that might be in like the the like steady cam rig of it and everything, where they're just sort of like walking around. 
that's the big thing I don't like about it that nobody's really talking about is like I get like the the shaky cam look and everything, but you do not need that for every fucking shot in your show. Like there's shots that are literally like just two characters talking in a hallway and the camera is fucking shaking, like someone's filming them at the other end of the hallway and like just lock it down on a fucking tripod. Like you don't need camera movement and everything for no reason, especially that like uh like I don't know, benign's the right word for it, but like camera movement that literally doesn't add to the story like when your camera is shaking like that and set far away from your characters it makes me think they're about to get ambushed or something and then nothing ever happens for the entire fucking episode like that and then i just think you have no clue what you're doing as a director not that you were intentionally trying to throw off your audience uh because there's nothing else that like sets you up to be on edge uh it's just it that's the thing is like it's weird that I think it was Aaron Sparrow that said it when I tweeted about the first episode is bad that it's like good enough is like the bar now. Like it's competent and it's well written. So that's awesome. But uh, yeah, I'm really waiting for it to warm up. Uh, but same thing. Like I went, I loved infinity pool. I'm literally doing this painting because of that movie. And uh the reviews were like saying it was super extreme and stuff. So I don't know if the NC 17 cut that was shown at Sundance is just way crazier. I did hear, you know, you see full frontal scars, guard dong. Uh, so it's obviously more extreme in the, the, uh, sexual content aspect, but violence wise in the cut that released in theaters this week, it was uh pretty tame. Uh, Nothing in it even comes close to, like, a single kill in the screenplay I've been working on, like. And I was expecting, like, gratuitous violence after, uh, Possessor, Brandon Cronenberg's last one. Uh, I did still fucking absolutely love it, though. And the masks were so fucking weird, like, it was, it was such a, such a fun time. Such a weird little movie. Yeah, pe people really that's ex that's exactly what it is. It's like we shouldn't have to be settling. Like that's why it was like, man, th the episode from this week was kind of mind-blowing cuz it was like, man, this feels like it would have won tons of awards if it was just like its own thing, like I said, just like even if you did it in, as an indie feature cuz the I think the episodes are like an hour long. If you just did that as like an indie feature and it's like it's an 80 minute romance story about this gay couple. Brilliant. Uh, it just felt like weirdly kind of shoehorned in. But the show is like where Walking Dead is like about a community surviving together. It's about Last of Us has always kind of been about like how human relationships get you through and uh more on like a person to person connection than a whole community. Um but Last of Us like really beats you over the head with it too in the show. Like there's always like one point in the episode where they basically say that directly to you. And that was I think what I said about the first episode is they like really hold hold your hand for the idiots. Like there's basically like an opening video for each episode. Uh, yeah, I still need to see Crimes of the Future, too, and I'm a way bigger nerd for uh, uh, for David Cronenberg than Brandon Cronenberg, obviously. Like, we wouldn't have one without the other. Uh, but, like, I like them both. I just, I was so fucking busy when Crimes of the Future came out, I wanted to go see it in theaters, and I just didn't have the time to. Uh, so I need to grab that one for the collection. Infinity Pool is, like, a definite buy for me, but... If you want to have like the most uncomfortable theater experience ever, go check it out because it's like it's gonna be hilarious if there's anyone else in the theater with you. There was like a a lesbian couple that was in with us, and there's a very specific sex scene in it when where uh it was so hilarious, and me and Mike are like fighting back, chuckling, and one of the lesbians was like, "Oh, uh, like extremely shocked." 
uh, because the movie just takes an extreme left turn into like horny territory. Uh, but it's fun. I I still really enjoyed it. Like it's way. I'd much rather have a weird big swing that uh doesn't say a ton, but is still like awesome to look at than uh all of the other shit we've been getting for a while. Like I'd rather you be weird and esoteric than uh whatever the mainstream slop is now. Joker having mud babies and all sorts of weird shit. I still don't even know if that's real. Like that's how little I care about that kind of shit now is that I didn't, I, I heard about that and I was like, sure, whatever. I hope it is real for the sake of DC dying. Uh, that, there's a pregnant Joker. Like that could have been a fan comic for all I fucking know. And I was just like, I, I hope it's real. Like I, it was a, uh, I hope she sees this for DC comics. That's how little I care now. <laughs> what do we got? The only superhero movies I can think of that even sound remotely interesting is supposedly the Joker sequel is a musical, which I'm like, I fucks with that. I love music. I love movies. Uh, you're going to smash them both together and add superheroes. It sounds like a fucking shit storm, and I'm excited to see it no matter how it pans out. It would be funny if it was just like the worst movie ever and they intentionally just tanked superhero movies. Uh, but I'm not sure. We will see. I don't even know when that one comes out at this point. I'm trying to think of anything else. I mentioned it earlier, but Skin and Marink comes out on Shutter like this Thursday. They announced that like today. Uh, that looked pretty cool. If it's if it's red, it'll go in the collection. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Hanging out, enjoying my drink. Can't really paint anything else. I didn't think that out. Maybe I should have started with a smaller painting first because i'm thinking about doing a void walker i got these uh other canvases that i think are like i think these guys are 14 by 24 something like that um of course they're kind of sticking together i gessoed four of them earlier they're almost like uh let's see if i can hold one up uh, it's almost like corner box aspect ratio. They're pretty big. But I was going to do a void walker on one of those, and I guess I probably should have done that first, and then I could have busted out the big one. Live and learn. <laughs> I'm excited for Ezra the Cop Killer Flash. Yeah, I have no fucking clue what's going on over there anymore. Uh, it doesn't feel real. Like, that's the that's the funniest thing, is like, uh, and again, why I always think the like political culture war shit is so hilarious is a bunch of people thought that Zaslov dude was going to like come in and save Warner Brothers. And for all the shit he's doing right, he's doing shit like keeping Ezra Miller as the Flash and get rid of, getting rid of Henry as Superman. And I'm like, I'm not even a big DC dude. And I know that's fucking dumb as hell. Uh, like I'm waiting him waiting for them to announce that Greenlit like a a six picture deal with Jared Leto to come back as the Joker or something fucking ridiculous. Cause, uh, they just, they don't seem to give a shit. Uh, it's almost impressive. Like how fucking crazy it's gotten. Welcome back, Colin. Way. Hey, indeed. I got fucking modeling paste on my phone. Of course. How the fuck do I do? I'm a caveman guys. Uh, I just have a fucking, like, spike of modeling paste hardened on my phone because it's not very tall. It's punked out my phone. Uh... Oh, yeah. Definitely, I'm looking at the picture I took of the fucking painting last night. I definitely like it way more already. I think I got rid of Henry Cavill because his contract was a mess. Uh... That and like they, what was it? James Gunn just did that interview like this week where he was talking about how he wants 
actors that are easy to work with, which basically means don't cost a bunch of money and are malleable. Like, they're not going to buck the system or anything. Uh, just his friends. Uh, it's it's pretty lame, but uh, it's hit or miss. Like, he's made some good movies. We'll see. Uh, been disappointed in Zack's sucker punch, but his new movie Rebel Moon looks good. Yeah, and Rebel Moon, like, he got, like, Daniel Warren Johnson to do, like, I think storyboards on it and shit like that, so I'm hoping it's all right, but I I don't know with him anymore either, and a lot of his stuff just ends up being, like, this weird gumbo of, like, other people's shit. Uh... Like I think one of his best things is the Dawn of the Dead remake that, ironically, James Gunn wrote. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Like that's what I mean is like there's seemingly no hope for superhero movies. Not that I ever thought there really was. Uh, but yeah, it looks like shit. Like it, uh, there's a, the landscape of that kind of stuff looks so bad, and I'm kind of glad. Like I hope it all sort of fizzles out and we can get back to getting real movies again uh not even like kind of fizzles out i like really hope it fucking fizzles out like it would be the coolest thing in the world if disney just went bust completely like i know like millions of people would probably be pissed because of the parks and shit like that but i uh i would not be losing any sleep over a giant company like that fucking off and dying uh just more room for indies. Get back to uh, good old small business. I don't even think fucking Walt Disney ever would have wanted it to get that big. If he could see it now, he'd be like, fuck me. What have I done? Uh, like his idea for Epcot was like so fucking organized. He probably would have hated this shit. So what the fuck? We have like 30 Star Wars shows? Are you kidding me? Pistol whipping executives in the Disney room. The Disney room. I don't know. That's where they do all the meetings, I guess. I don't know. Oh, man. I wish I could. A blow dryer is not going to dry this either. Just going to dry the outer layer and give it a fucked up skin. But would that be cool? No, I need to not fuck with it. At least for now. I'm going to keep building it up. Just add more and more modeling paste tomorrow. I think it's 24 hours to cure with that stuff. I got to fucking read the container again. I'm trying to think other Zack Snyder stuff. Can't even think of a shit off the top of my head right now. Uh, yeah, I'm out of blank. IMDB, save me. Um, I might just wrap it up. Wrap it up and chill. Maybe get some writing done while I keep watch on this thing over. Because if one of my cats jumps on this, they're gonna fucking leave cat footprints on it, and then it's real spooky. Uh, with cat footprints on it. Um, yeah, we'll call it a, we'll call it a night. We went for about an hour. I'm trying to think of anything else I can really do. Um, I'm probably not going to splatter it till the end if I am going to do that. I was almost originally thinking of doing it in the the like blood red pool and doing it more pulled out where you could see the entire mask, but I like the idea of doing the weird close up. So I went with that. But I don't know, I might still do the bottom like blood red in the end. Like below the jawline and chin. Uh or just splatter that in or something. I don't know. Jackson Pollock the shit out of this thing as a reference to the movie itself. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna wrap it up. 
um, wash my hands and everything finally, and then figure out where the fuck I'm going to put this thing for the night so it is safe from my animals. Um, but yeah, thank you for hanging out with me, dudes. Uh, I might do this again tomorrow. If I get enough, like, uh, packages put together and out the door, uh, it'd be fun to get back on and, uh, and do some. So, uh, I'll see, I'll see where it's at tomorrow, or later today, I should say. It's like an hour away. Uh, see where it's at in the morning, and, uh, If it's dry, I will fire another one back up. I did forget, though. I can do this. Toothbrush. Pop this bad boy down. I think there's still some in here. I forgot about the teeth. It's technically swoops down. Just so I remember to black that out. It's asymmetrical over there, so I'll have to remember that. I think I looked at it one last time. And see, can I see that? Okay. We are good. It's a wrap for the night. Clean this bad boy. Check this out real quick. What does it say? Apply with a palette knife. Fuck you. Uh, doesn't have a dry time. Just says when it's dry. 
All right, yeah, we'll leave it then. We'll let it chill for now. Uh, thank you, dudes, for hanging out with me and uh, watching my bullshit. Uh, I might get some writing done. I will uh, see you, dudes, tomorrow. Take it easy.